There are four ways to respect Muslim students during Ramadan. Assume you have students who are fasting. Fasting, or abstaining from food and drink, is a practice meant to be integrated with everyday life. This makes fasting less apparent to others, but it's probably still present at your school. 24% of the global population is Muslim, and as many as 93% of Muslims, even those as young as elementary school children, fast during Ramadan. No matter where you live or teach, it's safe to assume you have students and colleagues observing Ramadan. Understand the schedule of Ramadan. This year Ramadan, the holiest month of the Muslim calendar, falls during the school year. Ramadan can be an extraordinary time for Muslim students, especially in the middle and high school. Many Muslims double down on spiritual activities like charity, volunteerism, prayer, and religious study. Typical day starts before dawn to eat and pray, followed by a regular day of school or work while fasting. At sunset, family and friends gather to break the fast at a meal known as iftar. After breaking the fast, many head to the mosque for additional prayer and religious study. The days of Ramadan are long. It may feel like the nights are short. Ramadan ends with the holiday of Eid. Muslim students may take the day off for the celebrations. Consider physical activities. Most Muslim students will continue to attend school and study as usual. Despite the hectic schedule, physical education teachers can consider alternatives for students who are fasting. Also recognize that many Muslims have lower energy at the beginning of Ramadan, as they get used to the new daily rhythm. Be aware that Muslim students may need special accommodation when scheduling tests, projects, and extracurricular activities during Ramadan. Create Ramadan-friendly atmosphere. Allow Muslim students to go to the media center, study hall, or another location during lunch if they're not comfortable with the school cafeteria. Avoid activities that center around food that would challenge and ostracize those who fast. Consider making any schedule after school activities optional. Help students find private areas to perform their noon or midday prayers. Know, promote, and offer the traditional Ramadan greetings. Ramadan Mubarak, wishing you a blessed Ramadan. Ramadan Kareem, may you have a generous Ramadan. Your students and their families will appreciate how you honor their traditions.